Let's see what Steve RC9. Well, I'm continuing with my little comparison video series of the filmation accurate versions from Super 7 and the original characters. Um, I love the Man at Arms because Man at Arms was, you know, fairly noticeably different. Not, I mean, not a lot. There was the mustache, um, and there was the fact he had armor only on one side with the original toy, whereas on the TV show he had armor on both, which makes sense. Why would you only protect one side of your body? Um, and this weird mace was so big, but that's how it appeared on the show. Um, the one he's holding, actually, that one, is very accurate to the original one, but it's actually a um, Origins one. Uh, because one of the reasons why I bought some of the Origins figures is because the weapons were pretty much identical to the originals, and it was cheaper. It was cheaper to buy a new figure and share the accessory between the original figure and a new one than, you know, buy one of the original ones. So I liked him because he had the mustache, he looks just like the one on TV, because he doesn't look like Mad Allen, he just looks like some s scary guard who's just probably been working the job a bit too long. Um, and I just love the Filmation Accurate series from Super 7, and there really wasn't any question that I wanted all of them. Um, so those were one of the first two, one of the first ones I got. And next I'm going to do Teela. Now let's see if I can get them to stand up. No, that's not going to happen. That Teela does not stand anymore. Um, and the new one I actually couldn't get to stand for ages until I realized the legs were too close. And so once I did that, I found she would stand. Although she probably won't stand now because, you know, she wants to make a liar out of me. Come on, girl. You can do it. You're a strong, empowered woman. You can stand on your own. No, you need a walk. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. So, the original came with a snake outfit. And what I never knew, until I read the mini-comic like three days ago, was that that was supposed to be the sorceress character with the armor on, and it was like a dual toy. And once you took it off, the character underneath was Teela. And I'm like, oh. So, I recently bought this armor because it was um, a recreated one. I had the shield and the staff, and the staff disappeared. Um, and the armor was more brown. And I bought a, a new set of red to put on her. Never I felt like I was completing Teela. I didn't realize I was actually creating the sorceress, the original sorceress character. So, of course, this one is based on the filmation series Teela, and she has her own sword and a different shield and no um, snake staff or snake armor, which I should take off just so we can compare the actual character with, um, you know, the original. Now, she's holding her arm up strangely now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the Filmation one of course has the white fur on top of the boots and um, the more simplified armor because they simplified the, the characters so they're easier to draw. And she's very similar. And I don't know, everyone loves Teela. So I'm just glad they did it. I'm glad you get the, the sword that she had on the show and the different shield and just the accurate colors and everything. I just, it's amazing to watch the cartoon and look at the you know, the accurate toy when you're actually watching it now as opposed to having the one that you knew was the same character but always was a little bit different and didn't quite look right. So, glad they did that. I love the series. Don't have any regrets over buying any of them and I probably should get Evil Seed. It was the only one I didn't get. That and the Robot He-Man. I'm probably going to end up getting them as well. Why not? You never have too 